Welcome to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail that's been asked for many times, a liquid marijuana cocktail. Simple and easy, it's a bit of a cross between something tropical and a Long Island iced tea, kind of. But it's really easy to make, and we're gonna build it in the glass. So what you wanna do is take your glass and you wanna fill it with ice all the way to the top because you're going to get some dilution as soon as you begin pouring your ingredients over top of the ice. So, you also may need to add ice at the end, just in case. We're gonna start with a little bit of Malibu coconut. Now, this is a coconut flavored liqueur, and we're going to use a total of three quarters of an ounce, or 22 and a half mils. Your second ingredient is spiced rum. Now, depending upon the spiced rum you use, you'll have a slight variation of flavor and color, but you know what? Use what you got, don't go out of your way to get anything special. We need three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. The third ingredient that you're gonna to use today is a little bit of melon liqueur. Now I am using uh, Midori because you know what? It's what I happen to have on the shelf. Use what you got. This will just give you a bit more of an electric green, but usually the color is pretty consistent and close. Use the same amount of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. The fourth ingredient that we're going to use today is a little bit of sweet and sour. Now I am using a homemade sweet and sour, which is just a combination of lemons, lime, and sugar. We're going to use a total of one ounce and 30 milliliters. Your next ingredient is a little bit of pineapple juice. Now I recommend uh, fresh pineapple juice if you can get it. Unfortunately at the moment I can't, so I'm just using some Del Monte pineapple juice. Use what you can get and uh, whatever brand you get if you buy something from the store, you'll find that there's a little bit more sugar, so totally up to you. So what we're going to do now is we are going to add an ounce and a half or 45 mils. We're almost there. The next ingredient you're going to use is blue curacao. Now this will give you some hints of orange, but it'll also give you some blue to actually mix with all the yellows and greens to give us a really funky looking color. But we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. And this looks fantastic. I almost don't want to stir it, but you know what? We're just going to stir it just to give it a uniform mixture. And you want to make sure that you just get it nice and clear and absolutely fantastic to look at. So let's try it. So immediately I get a little bit of lemon, a little bit of pineapple, but that's all I'm getting and some slight hints of coconut. Yeah, I'm gonna have a couple of these tonight. These are really good. Now this is a sweeter cocktail, if you like sweet cocktails. And part of that comes from the combination of the coconut liqueur, the blue curacao and the Midori. They all have a lot of sugar. Plus there's a little bit of sugar in the homemade uh, sweet and sour. So it is something to consider and you can make adjustments however you want to get it to be exactly the way you want. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look right here.